Now we're here with Hannah, <laughs> wrapped up in her sleeping bag, watching the storm. Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to make this vlog to show you guys what it looks like to live on the world race. That was something when I first started out looking into the world race, I never really got a good picture of like what it is. So this is for you future racers, so to see kind of like how living conditions are like. Um, I do want to let you guys know that this is only my first month into the missions trip and so I know that every single um, location of ministry is going to be always different. So let's start off with the bedroom. This is our bedroom. We're actually pretty lucky that we have beds. So if you can take a look at this, um, the ministry here has beds for us and what we're doing is uh, my buddy Oscar sleeps here, I'm over here, We've got Connor over here and Daniel over here. Now, what we did was actually use our sleeping pads to give it some extra cushion. And uh, one thing to note, as you guys are shopping for sleeping bags, make sure you get one that's nice and wide because like, if you look at mine, it's only this long. So my arms barely even fit. Like, you check it out when I lie down, it's like it, it falls off, so it's not as good. Well, if you look at Connor's one, like he's got this awesome wide one. Look at that. So go for something that's nice and wide. I think his is called an air rail. Um, yeah, I'm from Canada, so we don't have the exact same uh, stuff that you get. I think a lot of stuff from REI is great. Oscar has this awesome pad that uh, was on Amazon for, I think, $70 or so. Um, packs down really small. Uh, something small is also really good to have. And yeah, we use our sleeping bags as um, pretty much our blankets. So invest in a good sleeping bag. <laughs> I actually am using one of my old ones and you can see a lot of the feathers are like coming out of it. So hopefully it will last for the rest of the race. Getting a pillow, like what they say, cut your old pillow, make it small. I did this with here. You can see that there's a lot more flap left. So I just like opened up my sleeping bag or my <laughs> pillow, cut it up and then uh, stitch back the Casing so inside the casing is like pretty good and it's totally worth it bring your own pillow I actually had an inflatable one that I just kind of used to um, go for travel days This one like packs down really small and so yeah, and you can see what we did over here is just kind of have a pile of stuff Got the my stuff over here Daniels Oscar and Connors um, Originally we started out like keeping pretty clean. I had a whole system, you know, I'm using my um uh, air porter bag to put on the ground and then I would actually have these packing cubes to stack nicely on it but right now it's a little bit of a mess <laughs> it's been already like uh, three weeks into the ministry and it's starting to fall apart but yeah I would put my bag this way so I could open it up grab things if I wanted to I might have to go clean that up afterwards and yeah so we got the the other ladies they're sleeping over here a little bit overexposed but uh yeah wash them down over here there's Cammy. <laughs> And pretty much we spend most of our time out over here. These are our two couches. You can see, uh, I'm gonna change the exposure a little bit. Oscar is working away. The rest of our team is actually out and about. Say hi! hi. <laughs> the rest of the team is out and about uh, doing different things. Some have gone to a, another location for ministry. Uh, some have to go down in town to like fix some certain things. But we pretty much have just one little couch and one bigger couch. And this is where we hang out. We do our team, team times over here. Sometimes we bring like little pads. These are pretty cool. If you buy one of these, you can actually use it as a mat to sit on. And uh, yeah, we also do little workouts all around in this little area. We have Wi-Fi, but Wi-Fi is not very strong. So get used to um, having yourself getting booted out all the time and, uh, <laughs> and having to try to reconnect. So that's a big thing. Um, coming out over here, I'm gonna try to change exposure because it's getting pretty bright. Yeah, we have uh, all our clothes. You can see this is where we hang our laundry. And uh, hey, it's Pastor Willie. <laughs> yeah, and uh, over here, we pretty much get them all hanged up. Oh man, this is really bright outside today. And, and uh, this ministry is pretty cool. They actually have a washing machine, so we can use that. But uh, if there was no washing machine, uh, one of our friends also has one of those bags um, to do kind of like a hand wash thing. Now, I'll take you guys to our one and only bathroom. Oh man, it's kind of like the brightness keeps changing. And yeah, this is it. This is what we got. We have one sink, one toilet for 14 people. So that could be quite a struggle in the morning. You kind of have to 
uh, wait in line and hopefully no one's there and you really need to go and you just gotta like knock and be like please um, this is real cold sho showers are real you can see you only get cold water <laughs> but uh, we did actually have hot showers when we went to the other church um, in the other town and then uh, went to our family home so that was kind of cool that was like uh, three days uh, over there so two days of nice hot showers and uh, one thing about um, in Colombia is that toilet paper whoop does not go in the toilet it goes in the garbage and uh, yeah a lot of the world is like that so yeah you just have to kind of get used to that and that's how life is like and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for living conditions we pretty much have the 14 of us all the time hanging around um, that's something you would have to get used to <laughs> living around people for 24 7 can be pretty tricky so you know um, some of us are trying to get used to it trying to figure out how to have our alone time have time to spend with God too um, in the mornings usually everyone kind of gets up we before breakfast is sort of our quiet time everyone puts on um, earbuds we all kind of like spread out find a spot to hang out and the best thing about this ministry uh, for this place is the view check this out this is just awesome so yeah we get to go out here and uh, just chill out it's awesome and uh, we'll see how the rest of the uh, ministry is going to be like in the next uh, 10 months so if you guys want to follow along with the adventures subscribe and uh, see you next time yeah All right, so this is it. This is community living. People are here. They're all just hanging around. Megan's checking out some stuff over here. That's another bedroom. And you can see like in the hallways, people are just chatting. Other people are just working away over there. Someone's on the phone, Maggie from the phone. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it's gonna be. I'm over here, got my little, oh, hang on. Get the exposure working. Got my little spot over here. Then I'm gonna do my little devotional time with God. These guys are just chatting along, doing the things. And yeah, that's what it's all about for living. Mm.